Good morning all. I'm quite keen to play with the contents of this envelope. I think it's going to be quite uh, an interesting one with respect to my new work area outside, in particular in relation to the lighting of that work area. So what's in here? What's in here? Well, let's cut it open and take a look. You can probably see that square coil there which is quite interesting and there's also a little circuit board so what we have here is a little uh, coil of wire it's actually quite hmm what do you call it monolithic coherent homogeneous it's um i think it's been dipped in something because that all feels quite rigid that's really quite nice um we've got two pin or two wire connector, two pin connector, which goes onto the board. Now I assume it goes onto the two pin connector on the board. That seems to be connected up to these two transistors. Interesting. Uh, there's a couple of chips on here, one with lots of pins on and one with only eight pins on. That looks like a regulator possibly, but I've got no information on this. What I can tell you is that this is an RFID reader. Now, I, I think it's the 125 kilohertz, which is the sort of um, original, you know, clocking in card type RFID system. Uh, no um, encryption, I think, on 125 kilohertz RFID. Now, as I understand it, this board puts out serial data, I think at 9600 um board so it should be possible to just read in that data well i'm almost thinking of reading it into my scope because i think that's got a sort of bitstream decoding feature so this item is one pieces 125k em4100 now i understand that that is the microcontroller that was originally used uh, no, it's the one in the cards, I think. I don't know. I'm learning, you see. I'm learning as I go along. RFI card reader module. Now, I believe this is only a reader, although I am thinking of getting some reader writers. Um, it's the RDM 6300. Now, that's written on the board, as you can see there. Uh, ID, RF, UART, output. So the UART output is interesting. Can I get that decoded? And can we see the um binary hexadecimal data coming out of this unit that's what i'm going to try and do today oh price uh 199 quite cheap this came from king electronics 15 although on the envelope it says survey so maybe they're one and the same right i have some data here um it appears to be an it product this is from the it wiki um i'll put a link to this in the description so it's a 125 kilohertz card reader mini module designed for reading code from 125 kilohertz card. Now I do have some cards and tags and things. Um, support external antenna. Well, we have an antenna that does fit onto the two pin connector. Uh, maximum distance 50 millimeters, blah, blah, blah. UART interface. So that comes out on another two pins. Should be able to connect the scope directly to that um supports that number compatible read only or read write tags okay and then on the second page we've got some uh pin data so what i want i think is five volts ground and tx I'm not quite sure why there's an rx if this is only a reader maybe you can configure it um but that's all the information there's really not much more here but anyway we'll see if we've got some stuff coming out of tx when we put a card near this thing um, the two pin um, connector number two, P2, is the antenna connections. And then there's a third connector, P3, with five volts ground and an LED. Now, maybe if you strap an LED on there, it lights up when it detects a card or something. I don't know. Let's power it up and see what it does. Now, there is a little LED on the back here, uh, this one right here. So I'm just thinking, if I put five volts to this with this... Uh, pack of four AAs 
and we just stick a card next to that receiver, will we get a little light to show up? So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do, simply power it up and shove a card next to it. Right, uh, 5 volts and ground go to pin 5 and pin 4 of the 5-way connector. Done that. Let's stick some batteries in it, which I'll pull out of this uh, battery pack. These are nickel metal hydride. I'll take the middle ones out because the end ones are quite tricky to get out because of that sort of wing flap type thing. Let's shove them in and see whether this bursts into life. Do we think it will? I hope so. <laughs> ah, we have a light. Looks like it's on all the time. So that's not very helpful. Um, but at least I think I've got my polarity right. Okay, I think the next thing to do is to find the cards. I've got some cards and some fobs. And put the scope on the TX pin and see if we've got some sort of data. Right, yes. Um, I ordered these i think there are 10 here yeah so we don't need 10 let's just take one. Oh, are they all sealed no 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 they're not and uh, let's just put this card over the reader and of course nothing that we can see is going to happen actually it'd be quite interesting to put a lead on the led pins of that three pin connector see if that lights up when i move the card near it yeah i'm going to do that uh, well, that's not very interesting. I've put an LED with a 100 ohm resistor uh, between the two outer pins, which is ground and what they say is called LED, and it doesn't really sort of do anything. So it looks like it's just an LED, but it certainly doesn't respond to the card. Okay, time for the scope, I think. Right, there's the scope powered up. Um, TX, according to this, is pin 1. And I can pick ground probably off my battery pack. That's probably the easiest thing. So TX is pin one. Let's hook that on there. Um, yes, ground down here somewhere. Right, here we go. Let's put the card near the reader. And yeah, getting something on there. Getting some data. It's saying 3.2589. So 3.259 kilohertz. Is that equivalent to 9600 board? Don't know. Now I think there's a serial decode thing on this scope, so I'll see if I can uh, invoke that and we'll see if we can get some actual data off this. Right, I've managed to get um, a consistent frame that seems to be coming out of the UART. Um, I've had to turn on the serial bus, put it in UART mode, and then signals, RX and TX, not that. Bus config, right, we've got eight data bits, no parity, board rate. We can go into that. I've set that to 9600 because I believe that's what this unit um, is doing. And the bit order LSB first. That's normal. So what have we got? We've got, um, oh, it's a bit twitchy when I move the card. Right, now I've set it to ASCII. If it can decode it as ASCII, it's got a V there. Um, and I'm switching between uh, MSB first and LSB first for my bit order. And if I go MSB first, I'm getting more ASCII characters. O, O, L, K, L, N, M. Uh, LSB first, it's all F6, F6, 6, D6. Lots of sixes in there. So I'm beginning to think this must be MSB first, because I'm actually getting some ASCII characters there. But then, are the card numbers in hex or ASCII? I still don't understand why I'm getting dud bytes here, which don't decode to anything. Uh, LSB first or MSB first. Maybe they're not full bytes. I do think I need to look at the protocol for this. Right, I think I'm getting somewhere now. I had my polarity as idle low. Well, of course, serial data doesn't idle low. It idles high. Bit order is definitely LSB first. And I think I'm getting some actual data now. Um, I've got 270061.42. Now that's a hexadecimal. Um, no, yeah, that's not a number, that's a letter. Oh, 41 is A, I think 42 is B. So B, whatever 46 is, would that be F? Uh, if 42 is B, yeah, that could be F. And then we've got uh, 41. 
another letter and 33, which is a 3. Let me just try and decode these. Yeah, so I think you ignore the first byte. I'm not quite sure what that is. And the last byte, I've got a feeling, is checksum. But these you can read pretty much as is. So 32 in hex is just the ASCII value for 2. So it's 270061. Now 42 is B. So it's B F um, 4 A B 3. So I think that is the set of numbers. And then, of course, if I change the card to another card, uh, if I can get the thing lined up with the antenna, if it'll settle down. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And so that one's uh, 270 uh, 6164280, uh, and 41 is A. So 0A. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, right, so I've got another package here, which I think there are some fobs in. So let's try a few of them. Yes, there we are, fobs. Nothing else in there. Let's try one of these uh, fob tags. See if they work. I'm pretty sure these are 125 kilohertz. Oh yeah, that's come straight up. And we got uh, 2A00, uh, oh, 44 is D, so D4, 4469D3. Yes, I mean, it uh, It reads these tags. You've got to interpret it a little bit when you're looking at the data on the scope. Um, but it should be relatively easy to feed the digital output, the TX output of this into Arduino and get Arduino to do a serial read. And then um, I can just build a simple table. I really wanted some colored ones of these because what I want to do is I want to put a tag onto this thing and different colored tags will switch on different sets of lights in my work area. That's all I want to do. Um, so yeah, I need to buy some tags which are all different colors. But yeah, the reader certainly seems to work and it pushes out 9600 board serial data. So well, that's all good, isn't it? And uh, then the idea is once the Arduino has matched a tag up with a sort of database of tags, um, it will talk to a relay board. Now this one's a bit mental. I'm not even sure I've ever opened this before. Um, I bought this 16 channel relay driver board. It's got ooh, 16 opto isolators on the input and 16 relays. That's a bit mad, isn't it? I think I might get a smaller one, perhaps just four relays because the idea is to have four different sort of lighting groups triggered by these tags and then maybe have a black tag for off, which will then turn all the relays off. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And uh, here's a little update. Having switched um, my base to ASCII here, it all makes perfect sense because um, there is an STX, which I believe is start transmission. Here is an ETX, end transmission. And you can read these straight off the screen, 2A00D553D975, D9, simples. Uh, but for the moment, yeah, I'm quite happy with my $2 125 kilohertz RFID reader. It seems to work. Cheerio.